singer friends and welcome back to Dynamic Voices TV and I am your dynamic coach Alyssa Harris. Today's video we're going to be talking about how to get down and dirty and low with the low larynx and how to hit some of those lower notes in the basement. I feel like a lot of YouTube videos and just singing rhetoric in general just focuses a lot on hitting high notes and when we think about a singer's range and a singer's talent we tend to play a lot of value on their abilities in terms of how high their notes that they can hit. So uh, in this video, uh, we want to kind of place the emphasis on the other side, the other end of the spectrum of the voice, because your voice can do a lot of amazing things, not just go all the way high in the rafters. Uh, we tend to put a lot of emphasis on that in singers, like on singers, you know, how high can they sing? You know, if you think about it, what is the part of the song that the crowd usually just goes wild on whenever you hear um, a singer, you know, listening to someone sing and they're doing a performance. Everyone goes crazy on that really impressive high note and that's, you know, of course super impressive. We put a lot of emphasis and a lot of value on the belting and the skrilting and the whistle tone and all the beautiful falsetto sounds that the voice makes. Uh, and don't get me wrong, those are all incredible aspects of the singing voice and they are considered impressive vocal acrobatics and they definitely deserve their credit, so don't get me wrong but they are just one part of the voice and the spectrum of the voice. So I like to encourage my students to work on everything that their voice is capable of, not just the high notes and not just to strive for reaching the high notes with perfection, but also having a lot of accuracy um, and intent and agility in the lower side of their voice. So in this video, we're going to be going over some ways that you can improve the lower part of your range and be able to hit lower notes and make more fun sounds. So let's just jump in. I think I should first just go over what's happening when you are making a lower voice sound. So when you're making a sound for a lower note, basically what's happening is that sound is coming from the lowering of your larynx. So the larynx, AKA the voice box, just to keep it simple, is the organ that houses your instrument as a singer, your vocal cords and the muscles and the tendons surrounding it. So when the larynx is lower, it makes lower and more hollow sounds. When it's positioned higher, it makes brighter and lighter sounds, right? And I'm wearing a turtleneck so you can't really see, but low larynx. Hi, larynx. I don't think you can really see, but you, you get the idea. I'm gonna put a picture right there. You get the idea. So think SpongeBob and Patrick, right? Many female vocalists with this lower type of voice, for example, like Sade, Tony Braxton, Desiree, uh, Tracy Chapman, those are all examples um, of singing in the lower larynx position. Of course, this applies to males as well, but it isn't as unique because of course their voices are naturally just lower. For some people, that's just naturally how they sing. Their voice just naturally has a lower um, tone to it. Uh, and some people, it's something that they can turn on and off to make different sounds. Uh, think of Eminem when he's rapping in his regular voice versus when he's rapping in his slim shady voice. I don't know, I don't know if my audience is old enough to remember that, but yeah, if you if you listen to some old school Eminem, some his regular, you know, male just talking voice is like low, and then when he does his rapping in his alter ego, he's he's rapping in a higher larynx. So no matter where your voice naturally wants to go, it can be very fun to explore this sound and this mechanism. Singing with the low larynx can require some strengthening, whether it comes naturally for you or not, and there are many exercises you can do to strengthen and help sharpen how your lower larynx sounds. And here's a few of them. One exercise you can do to strengthen the voice while singing with the low larynx position, uh, it's really more of a warm up and I kind of, I sometimes like to do it as a warm down too because it really just kind of like relaxes everything down here. Um, it's the low hum and I will play it here. Uh, just a three, two, one hum. And I like to start a little bit lower than I normally start like at middle C. I like to start a little bit lower on a sounds like right and then you 
could kind of just go all the way down here till it gets real, real low. <laughs> if you can make it down there, right? Go as, as far as you can. But that's something that I like to do that um, it is sooth it's soothing as a warm down, but it's also really helpful to strengthen that lower larynx position. So you can always pause the video and try that right now if you'd like. A reason why that exercise is great for lowering the larynx um, and for warming down is because it just kind of relaxes everything. If you're singing a lot of high notes with a high larynx position, it may feel a little bit tense after a while. So a nice low hum can be really, really helpful. I just want to note that you can, you can sing high notes with a low larynx and you could sing low notes with a high larynx. That's like a story for another day. I don't want to get too technical in this video, but I just wanted to kind of introduce the concept of the low larynx sound. So it don't roast me in the comments if you're like, just because you're singing with a low larynx doesn't mean you, can sing, you can't sing a high note. I know that, but for the sake of this video, we're just going over the low larynx sound, okay? Thank you. So the next exercise um, is a bwub sound. Bwub, bwub. It's kind of hard not to have a low larynx when you say bwub. B-U-W-H-B. Bwub, 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 bwub. And we like to do it on a descending five, four, three, two, one. Do it strongly and hold out the last note to practice what it feels like to sing down there in that part of the voice. Feel free to pause this video and give this a try after I show you. It sounds like this. These are just two of many exercises that you can do to help improve your singing in the low larynx position. Uh, it can help strengthen the lower side of your voice and really beef up those lower notes. If you're not really used to or really comfortable singing down there, doing some of these exercises can definitely help. This is a short video, so of course, if you want more and you wanna learn more about how to improve your sound just in general or your lower larynx sound, definitely reach out. I've got a lot of resources for singers. Down there in the description box, you'll see the link to my website, all my social media, and my email. So if you'd like to reach out, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. So if you like this video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. If you really liked it, consider subscribing because I post a lot of singer-related topics, a lot of really fun things, and a lot of just good information for singers. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will catch up with you in the next one. Good job.